I'm Anthony for Hazardsnet, and I do a lot of Transformers videos, like a lot. And um, Transformers as a collecting thing for the basic figures, not talking masterpiece. Uh, it's it's about twenty dollars for a deluxe figure, and then it just goes upwards for anything much bigger, like the. Uh, I think it's like eighty or ninety dollars for the upcoming Skylinks, and um, and then of course the Titans are one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars depending on where you get it. Now um, I choose four regular websites when I go looking for Transformers, and then there are two store specific websites. Uh, I kind of bump the store specific websites uh, into one category because uh, Hasbro has been doing like exclusive deals with. Uh, these two specific websites where you can only get the figures there. Uh, but then um, I, I consider the first four more broad, like you're less limited, even though there are exclusives on each of these websites. So first off, as you see on the screen, is uh, Hasbro Pulse. Now, they used to have a uh, Hasbro website where they... Uh, put the toys up uh, if you go to transformers.com uh, and then you could buy them there and, and they did that for a number of years uh, mostly during the Prime Wars trilogy uh, and, and before uh, so but now they have this Hasbro Pulse thing and they, and they do uh, crowd fundraising and, and whatnot and um, if you scroll down here uh, they're doing a crossover with Dungeons and Dragons and My Little Pony and of course they have the X-Men license and then here is the newest three, um, uh, of which I believe, um, let's say, one of these, I think maybe this guy's an exclusive to Hasbro, I don't remember which, because I know this one's going all to all the fan sites. I actually ordered him somewhere else. Uh, but uh, here's an exclusive here for the Hasbro Pulse, the Top Gun Maverick Jet. Uh, it's $50. I'm not a fan, but, you know, I'm sure some people are. I look at X-Men Sentinel. They just met their third-tier fundraiser, and they do crowdfunding. Uh, so, yeah, for people who like that. I wanted to show you... Oh, it, oh, oh, no, that's not it. They have a... They have a My Little Pony Transformers crossover, but, yeah, we're not going to... So, to find Transformers on this site, uh, typically you go to brands... And then what I, I prefer to Generation Series, Generations is the main series. And when you go to the Generation site, you're going to see uh, strictly anything that falls within the Generations category. Because, again, there's Masterpiece and then there's um, movie-based stuff. And you can actually refine the search here. Because uh, they also have Selects. Uh, but everything typically, because here's the Japanese Takara Tomi. And then here's the Generation Selects, but for King Poseidon. Which is a Japanese version of a of a Piranicon. and then uh, here's Generations, which is I'm going to click here. Uh, so you see, uh, here's Earthrise Optimus. Here's the the three new ones that are I believe they're selects. Yeah, they're Generation selects. And uh, this is my first choice for buying Transformers. Now the thing is, this website. It is free shipping if you spend over fifty dollars. The kick in the pants here is if you spend if you if you get a twenty nine ninety nine and a and a nineteen ninety nine transformer, you won't get free shipping. Uh, so uh, you have to spend like sixty dollars, um, which you can do because they have ten dollar um, the mini, mini I call them mini cons with the weaponizer and stuff, but. Uh, this site is I, I I enjoy it. It's uh, it has nice. You can pre-order on it. It's a great site, and um, more of my most recent Transformers, particularly the War for Cybertron series, is from this site. Look at this. This Skylink's here. I love him so much. It's not even out yet. So the next site I like is Big Bad Toy Store. Now, uh, they are an official, they, they get to distribute stuff directly from Hasbro. So it's not like they're going to, um, like Hasbro and just buying up 12 copies of everything, whatever, and, and uh, ruining it for everyone else. But, uh, wow, this, this guy looks freaking nice. Anyway, <laughs> this is a site that is just full of different types of fandom, and some of the stuff here is fantastic. There is stuff on here that's thousands of dollars. Like, if you're like a super collector in some of these things, it is spectacular. 
But for Transformers, they have, like, it's the biggest line, so it's the first one right here. And, uh, and then they categorize them by their different series. And, of course, uh, I have bought Power of the Prime stuff from, from this site, as well as some Generation stuff prior to that. But uh, we're, we're dealing in War for Cybertron, so we go here, and you can you see on top of the list is, is a bunch of pre-orders. Now, actually, Jetfire was already released, but he gets free stock, so he, you know, here you go. Uh, so this is, this is where I get a lot of the stuff I don't find in Hasbro Pulse. Sometimes they run out. Now, the kicker with this is it's $4 shipping, uh, no matter what you buy. So if you buy one item, be it $6 or whatever, it's still $4 shipping. Uh, it becomes more effective when you buy a lot of things or buy something really expensive. So um, I have purchased a number of items and only had to pay $4 shipping. It is a great deal. And I, I like this site. Uh, and I see, look at this. They actually do the selects here, too, because, of course, uh, they have a, a, set, a deal with Hasbro Pulse. So if you can't find something in Hasbro Pulse, come to Big Bad Toy Store. Because, uh, as you can see, as I go down this list, they have a lot of stuff still in stock and, and stuff about to come out in pre-order. And, of course, Ape Face is already out, but, you know, he's coming. He's being a uh, second wave, I guess, or whatever they call it when they re-release a toy uh, over again. So my third choice is, and I know people are going to grow, Amazon. Now, Amazon is um, basically, you, you get, Hasbro has an official store on here. Uh, and so do other people who are really good sellers. So let me type in Transformers War for Cybertron. Oops. And then just hit enter. And uh, it would have been cool if I spelled it correctly. There we go. Okay. So uh, you can see uh, from here, I've already bought two things. Uh, I bought this Mirage. And I bought this three-pack here that my friend Moose and I split up because I wanted these two guys and he wanted this one. Anyway. Uh, ooh, this thing is still in stock. That is surprising. So this is one of their newer things, and so is this. Uh, I pre-ordered this guy here. I love the uh, yeah, um, the the uh, the Elite Seekers, but then um, of course uh, here's the Earth versions of Prowl and Ironhide. Uh, here's Dead Optimus. If you really want Dead Optimus, uh, I think it's creepy. Uh, but then you see this is a Walmart exclusive that somebody is reselling. Now this sells for forty. They're selling it for sixty. But as you see, there is plenty here on Amazon, and. Uh, Here's Galaxy Prime. Here's Wheeljack, which is funny. Uh, the Wheeljack I got is from Power of the Primes, and I paid a pretty penny for him because Wheeljack is rarely reproduced, but to reproduce another one so quickly is fantastic. Uh, but I have one, and I like the one I have, so I'm not getting an another Wheeljack. And, and, and I go back to saying, yes, collecting Transformers is expensive, but I have a rule. If I already have that transformer like i have power of prime's wheel jack and he looks fairly similar to this i am not going to get earthwise or sorry earthrise wheel jack because why would i want to spend twenty dollars plus again for something i already have that looks generally the same so but as you see uh it is a pretty good list um some some things sneak in here although is this says it's earthrise it looks kind of like the one from uh the cartoon but whatever uh anyway so i i think that, that this, this is a pretty good source to get some stuff uh be cautious about it though like um these walmart exclusives here ending up on here uh, they're gonna be markups but obviously a deluxe figure typically goes for 20 uh, a voyager figure for 30 liters and stuff 45 50 etc so you know what you're looking for before you start spending some real money and i always go site to site looking what the difference is so number four on my list is, and I've only bought a few things from them. This is uh, TF Source or Transformer Source. Uh, they are just Transformers. And as I scroll down, you'll see that they sell sell things typically um, for five dollars more than you can um, typically buy them for anywhere else. I, I think they do kind of a slide a supply and demand thing. Now I I mention that because Big Bad Toy Store actually has a um, a uh, ten percent markup on anything. So if it's twenty dollars at 
uh, Hasbro, they're going to charge twenty two. Uh, TF Source, they, they they seem to do a. You know what? This is going to be popular to check up the price a little bit. And sometimes that sucks. Although right now they have uh, War for Cybertron Titan Scorponaut for 160 which is this MSRP. So sometimes you get those rarities where um, they're going to be right on the, the money because especially $160, that's cost prohibitive for a lot of people. Uh, but the, uh, these, the uh, sorting is weird here because they don't quite do it the way I would like. Uh, but, I mean, you can go through this menu here and let's do Earthrise. It's just check out what Earthrise says and you'll see all these down here but look at this this is a $25 toy they're selling for 60 so this this place obviously doesn't get products directly from uh, Hasbro like uh, Big Bad Toy Store um, in some cases uh, I mean this one's the right price this one is a couple bucks more this one's ten dollars more so you you they kind of probably, and this is just a guess here. I think they hit up a number of different sources to get things. So obviously, this paying um, what well, equates to two and a half times its actual retail value, uh, that tells me that somebody went out of their way to grab these from Target somehow. And uh, but anyway, you can go through the list here, and, and prices are. Th this is one of my last resorts for looking at some store exclusives. So I like, for example, here is uh, Sky Warp and uh, whatever the other. I keep getting the dude's name. Uh, anyway, um, these retailed for sixty, and they're selling for one hundred and ten when it was in stock. This guy is twenty, selling for forty. That that's that's why this is my last resort when I'm looking for anything, and I typically go to TF Source for older stuff because typically they have marked them down. So then when we talk score exclusives, I categorize them together because you have the situation where Hasbro keeps throwing stuff to Walmart and Target. And as I uh, type this in, hopefully correctly, you'll see that they already have pre-orders for the new leader class for whatever this is. They have pre-orders for Alita 1. So uh, the website is functional, at least right now, uh, on release day a few days ago, before, you know, the pre-order is open. Um, this stuff was not working, but uh, you can see you can get uh, a, a number of things from the uh, website itself. Now, the one thing I don't like is, and I think you can filter it out, uh, occasional things like this guy right here will pop up from a secondary or, or third uh, level uh, vendor, and I don't like that showing up on the website because it kind of ruins it uh, because you're looking oh this is this great this great oh they have this and then you realize you can't have it shipped to your store and um, you can limit a couple of things like here, let's try this and then let's try this and see what it does okay so do we filter out yes okay so by clicking a couple options we do filter out uh, the outliers that uh, I just wasn't cool with and you can, you can see what's sold by Hasbro directly and what is sold by Walmart. Now, uh, again, Walmart is the only place you can have, if it's sold by Walmart, you can pick it up at the store. If it's sold by Hasbro or anybody else for that matter, you have to have it shipped. So then the other one, and I'm going to copy this, is Target. Now, Target has had uh, two or three exclusives I've bought from them. And uh, you can actually define if you want in stores, free order pickup, and online, whatever. Um, but they also show off uh, th third-party, you know, second-party sites, and that really kind of like confuses me a little bit. But uh, their their assortment is not as good as Walmart's, but obviously not as good because you know, Walmart isn't as good as as uh, like Amazon or. Hasbro Pulse or, or Big Bad Toy Store, but uh, occasionally you can find uh, some things, but they have uh, like a wider disparagement, but fewer of each thing. Although surprisingly, uh, this is here. Uh, I actually, because uh, how do I put this? I had to stock the website for Target uh, for four, five days, and at like 6.50 a.m., I uh, start refresh, refresh, refresh until it was in stock, 
uh, before I was able to order it and actually got it. But, uh, so, I mean, you, you see, it, there's a mix of different toy lines here, and, uh, and then uh, occasionally you'll see stuff uh, like this. This is from TF Source, as a matter of fact. Uh, and this is the Refractor Trio, which I actually think was really cool. And after procrastinating, I ended up buying uh, from ha uh, from Big Bad Toy Store or Hasbro. I can't remember which. But, uh, you know, th this is, again, exclusives and last resort, just like Walmart is. But, uh, again, if you really want the toys first in the best condition... Uh, and pre-order them. I highly recommend Hasbro Pulse. And if you can't get them that way, I again recommend Big Bad Toy Store. I'll include the links to these uh, sites uh, in the description. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. My name is Anthony for Hasbro and we are an Amazon associate. So every time you go and watch one of our videos or visit our website, you can find links to our Amazon Associate page, which I'm showing you right here. So every single time we show an item on our videos or website that we can find on Amazon, we will post them for you so you can buy them for yourself. Now, every time you make a purchase, we get a little bit of that, and that helps us continue to buy more products to do more videos. So as you can see, as I scroll through here, a lot of transformers, various toys, electronics. So we have plenty of things if you're looking to start a collection. And of course, if you're looking to update technology, you can even check out the same computers we review. And of course, any equipment we use in the process of making the videos or updating our office and even, even the books I wrote. So take a few seconds there and check out our Amazon Associates page and you know, buy something. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.